Hi everyone! So it's been a really, really long time since I made a video. Um, I had made a few videos between the last one that I posted and now, but for various reasons they were all kind of wonky. Um, Lay down. And that's one of the reasons. Um, so this is just going to be an update and I'll kind of just go over what's been going on with me this summer. This summer has been crazy. I know it's been crazy for a lot of people. Um, so I guess I'll just get into it. Um, so the last video I posted was like right before summer break hit for school. So to be completely honest, one of the reasons why I haven't been making any videos is because it is summer so my brother is home and it feels kind of awkward just making videos in the living room with my brother home and the lighting in my room is horrendous. Um, lighting out here isn't great either but it's better than in my bedroom. Um, and so that's like one of the reasons but I have had so much happen this summer and um, I'm sure part of it is like the, all of the million retrogrades that happened and everything was all wonky and the energy was really gross this summer. Um, but I've, I've had some really shitty things happen and I've had some really wonderful things happen. So right after I made my YouTube channel, I've been wanting to do this for years, finally I've got up the courage to do it and actually made some videos. Um, and. I was really excited to just keep going with it and then like a week after I posted my last video we got a puppy she's making a little bit of noises over here um, and puppies are a lot um, a couple of the videos that I recorded she was just so rambunctious it was gonna take like forever to edit them and I'm not familiar with the um, editing stuff on Windows 10. I knew like Movie Maker on Windows 7 and I could do that pretty easily and I'm just so confused with this editing. Um, on Windows 10 and so I was like I don't even know how to just like take out all these snippets of the dog running all over my face um so she's part of it exactly a week after we brought her home um I found out that I was pregnant and we've been trying to get pregnant for like a year so that was like really exciting really big news for us and my pregnancy has been complicated. <laughs> um, so right at the beginning, uh, I had maybe like a week or two of knowing I was pregnant before shit hit the fan. Um, I started to have some complications and I will make like separate videos about this because I know like not everybody um, is, is here for that. But I do feel like some of these things that I experienced should be spoken about because I was completely in the dark because people don't talk about it until they hear somebody else talking about it and then they'll be like, oh yeah, that happened to me, you don't need to worry about it. And I'm like, well, thanks if I would have known that ahead of time. Um, but basically what happened in the beginning was that I had a hemorrhage and so I was like bleeding a lot and um they told me that I was going to lose the baby that like without a doubt and so that was really really hard for me and I went through a full week thinking I was just waiting for my pregnancy to end and um it it was horrible and I eventually like got another opinion and luckily for me I didn't choose to try and expedite things because baby is fine um and yeah so that was like my first my first complication um 
I was very upset with how it was handled and um, so like I switched care and then I had to switch care again because they found out that I have diabetes and they're not sure if it's gestational diabetes meaning like it came on with pregnancy and it may go away after pregnancy or if it's type 2 diabetes it was just previously undiagnosed um, so I had to switch care again to be with someone who could deal with that better and monitor that better and that came with like a lot of um i mean diet change checking my sugars four times a day giving myself insulin every day um so it's been like a big big change for me um and that's kind of that's where my pregnancy is at um, I'm currently 20 weeks, so I'm halfway through, and I ended up having to, I mean, it was, it was halfway choice, but it felt like, um, felt like I didn't really have a choice, so I, I ended up quitting my job, um, I was potentially gonna quit my job anyways towards the end of my pregnancy or after having the baby, but... The plan was to work through as much of my pregnancy as possible and then see how I felt towards the end because I know sometimes like some women can work up until they go into labor and some women don't feel um, they don't feel up to working at that point but with all of the complications I was having and all of the extra appointments that I had to have for all of my little issues um, it just it was becoming difficult and it was becoming really stressful so um i felt like it was more fair to the family i was working with for me to leave instead of having them try and work around me all the time and you know if last minute things came up them having to figure something out to cover me or them having to miss work and it was just really stressing me out dealing with all of this stuff and going to work and so it was kind of the best choice for me too but that has also put a strain on us because that's we're fine but that's money that um now we're missing um so like all the little extras like going out to eat or whatever like we don't have that right now um and also this summer while i was worried about losing the baby, I found out that my sister died, and I halfway want to share, but I also feel like that's not my story, that's her story, um, so for now, I will keep, like, the details private, but, um, it, it really sucked because I had, like, recently not like just talked to her but I had recently talked to her and she had just posted on Facebook like a few hours prior and um, as far as I knew everything was all right um, life is never perfect but everything was okay with her as far as I knew and then uh, people just started posting on Facebook, like, I can't believe she's gone, uh, you know, whoever she was to them, oh, I lost my this, I lost my that, and I was just like, what the fuck is going on? What is going on? Who, like, somebody has to have some sort of misinformation somewhere, like, there's no way, there is no way. And so I started bugging all of these people who were posting, like, what are you talking about? Where did you, where did you hear this? Like, I am her sister. I need to know, I need to know what's going on. I, need, I shouldn't be catching this from people that I've never heard her talk about before. Some of them I had, but some I was like, you are a completely random person. How did you get this information before half of her family? Um, and... It ended up being true. She, I don't want to give details. Um, so she 
she did die the day that everyone was posting. Um, she had posted something on Facebook earlier and later in the day uh, they found out that she was dead. So that was really hard for me. So hard for me. Um, and it was really hard for me to go through that while worrying about the baby. Like, you know, everyone's like, oh, you don't want to stress out. You don't want to be too stressed because you'll put stress on the baby. And I was already worried about whether or not the baby was going to make it. So trying to allow myself room to grieve and to cope and to process while being safe with my pregnancy was difficult and I still feel like I haven't fully processed um, all of that because I was afraid to go to extremes. Um, I do feel like it is one of the more healthy, eh, halfway halfway one of the more healthy um, grieving processes I've been through because I did allow myself to just let it all out right away when when it was finally confirmed to me and I knew that it was true I just started screaming and that's I've never done that with any of the previous deaths that I've experienced um, that was one of the videos that I have made, I may remake it, I may not, um, about my experiences with death and people that I know who have died, um, but I have lost a lot of people in my life and I usually take on this role of trying to be the strong one for other people, um, when I lost my grandfather, I was the oldest grandchild, and I knew what was happening. I don't know if the other kids knew what was happening when it was happening, but I knew what was happening, um, so I was, like, mentally preparing the whole time um, until, like, our moms got back from the hospital and told us that, yes, like, he did pass away. Um, so I was like mentally preparing for that and trying to keep the other kids distracted and trying to be strong for them and um, so in, in that instance um, my grieving was really drawn out because I didn't allow myself to express my feelings and then when my mom passed away um, I did have other like she has two sisters and so they were um, they were partially in charge of like dealing with things but technically I was her next of kin I was the one who was supposed to be making the decisions who was supposed to be in charge so I had this responsibility to deal with and I had my brother and I and it's not healthy um but I was trying to be strong for him the way that my mom always would um, and you know my mom had this thing of like you you don't let them see you weak you don't let them see you vulnerable you have to be strong and so that's kind of where I was at and I had a few times like in the morning before my brother was awake where it was like just me and Greg and um, I would just like cry it out, but there was so much going on and I was so overwhelmed that that also became a slower process. And um, I don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with a slower process, but I, I do recognize that the way that I went about it wasn't exactly healthy. And the way that I've gone about it with my sister isn't exactly healthy either because I did let a lot of emotion out right away, which I think is great but then I kind of had to shut that up and deal with other things. So that has also been 
a thing for me um, during the summer. And I guess that's mostly, that's mostly it. I do have a few other videos that I um, am going to make that are more like what's been going on very recently um, since I quit my job. Uh, the last time I worked was like the first week of August. Now it's the 1st of September. So it's been about a month since I've been working. And um, I have had things come up. Um, what is going on with me right now is that um, obviously I'm like dealing with my pregnancy, um, trying to just do what I can for the baby, trying to make sure that my diet is okay and my sugar isn't way too high and whatever um, and then I'm getting enough food and the, my sugar doesn't go too low because sometimes with the insulin my sugar can end up pretty low um, so we're monitoring that but like on the mundane side of things that's where I'm at but at some point I did also realize that um, as much as my life has been consumed with thoughts of this baby so far once she's here my life really is going to revolve around her she's going to be my world and um so right now these next few months i think is really important for me to just take time for me and to do things that I maybe won't be able to do um, once she gets here. And so I'm focusing more on my spiritual path and getting back to that because I have fallen so far away from it. Um, since my mom passed away, I just, I have these moments where I'm like, all right, let's do it, let's go, I'm ready, and it'll last a couple days, or it'll last a week, or whatever, and then I'll fall right back off, and I won't keep up with anything, and, you know, like, I can't even get myself to, like, light incense every day, like, nothing will be consistent, so, I'm getting back to my spiritual path, I'm getting back to, like, meditating, and journaling, and things that just help me process, and move forward, um, I have been like reading some books, fiction and nonfiction, and watching YouTube videos, and I've been um, communicating more with other people, and so that's kind of there. There's growth coming from that, and that is where I'm at right now, and where I'll leave this video because I am gonna make other videos about, like I said, what's been actually going on like the past couple weeks and my thoughts and where i've been at so thank you guys for watching and i guess see you really soon in the next video bye